Hello, welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Gemini money and career reading for the month of January 2022. Happy holidays to all. Happy New Year. If you are watching uh, this reading in 2022, Happy New Year to all. I wish you all the best. Heads up. These are general energies. I would not be able to uh, guide you with personal questions or answers. Let's get going. Gemini. Seven of Wands. Uh, seven of Swords, sorry. Gemini, January 2022. Justice. Okay, Gemini, making things clear, Gemini, oops, too many cards. Sometimes it's just me being clumsy. Gemini, January 2022, money and career. Gemini. Money and career, January 2022. Gemini. Hmm, Gemini. These cards are taking a moment to come out, right? It seems like you do have, yes, it seems like there is a decision to be made. We'll get into that in one moment. Two of Pentacles, King of Wands, Gemini, January 2022. The moon, these other cards, a little too many cards. Let's see if we can get a little bit more precise. January, Gemini, money and career. These over just a little bit. And King of Cups, Gemini. Gemini, money and career, okay. No, not these cards. Gemini, this reading is clearly something very specific that wants to come out. Something is up, Gemini. Gemini, money and career. Okay. It's the lovers. Two of swords. I'm sorry, I'm laughing, it's not funny, but in my mind, as I was shuffling after the Two of Swords, I was just going to say I wouldn't be surprised if the tower comes out. Yes, there is, yes, the death card. Now don't, don't panic. This is just because, yes, look at this. Um, two, of, two of Cups and the Sun. It is just because, Gemini, you are living a major moment, a major change in your career, in your professional energy, in your job, however it resonates in your journey. Um, and that's why the cards took a moment to come out. The right energies had to come out. It is a moment in time where you have to make a decision. You're juggling a lot, two of pentacles, 
right? It's you're, you, you, you have to prioritize now and adapt to these new energies in 2022. Something happened, and I want to say this is in the past. If it's not in the past, it is happening now where you feel you were, why am I saying neglected? But I don't think it's that. that I don't know why this word is coming up, neglected. But I feel like, and this is a job situation. This is a career situation. These are professional and uh, money and career readings. Um, uh, something happened where you thought you were betrayed or um, felt like people weren't honest with you or got away with things or you worked your butt off and, and you know, uh, while everybody was just, you know, taking advantage of you or, or because we have the moon, um, certain things were not told to you. People just you know, were maybe talking behind your back or just kept things from you in a professional setting, right? This is not, um, I feel like you discovered something at work, at your job, within a career, within a, um, a and, and within a business where you discovered something that happened. Maybe someone lied to you. Maybe someone stole money. You know, I'm I I'm just um the I'm just speculating. These are just ideas, right? Maybe someone just uh, betrayed you within a business partnership because there is uh, the Two of Cups here. But I feel like the Two of Cups comes after this situation. So I'm almost feeling like you will partner up with someone to start something new because you have the sun and you're moving into something so much more positive, so much more um, that's giving you um, um, stability and happiness and a little... Uh, a little bit of a mind calming your mind and then sort of pushing forward in a beautiful, beautiful new positive energy that's giving you serenity and really, really uh, it's just a sense of calmness around you, around you and your family, right? Uh, and however that family is represented for you. Um, so this um, Seven of Swords is something that is pushing you this situation here is pushing you to make a decision uh, an important decision within the month of January something that you have to do you have to adapt to something new you have to set priorities and make a decision upon that whatever situation happens take it as it resonates in your journey something that was hidden from you or something you discovered along the way that you are not you know that you really didn't expect because you have the tower and the death and it's something you just you might have discovered out of the blue or you didn't expect or it's just a real sudden change for you where you have to adapt to a new energy to a new job to something else right but the fact that this is happening um, Gemini is a good thing, even though it's a it's a, a huge change, a huge shift, and a huge, um, uh, an important you know provoking an important decision within your career, your job. It's something that you know you have to choose. You have to choose a new path. You have to choose to open up because there was a situation there uh, you, that you didn't expect. You are shifting on something completely different. The death. You are transforming yourself, becoming someone new, choosing a new career, choosing a new job because you don't want to deal with this situation anymore or these people or this job or this career. You're changing paths completely, the death card. So the good thing with this, even though it, it might be a little difficult along the way because it might not have been something you expected, it gives you uh, mental and emotional stability because I think once you rid yourself of this situation and understand it's not for you anymore and that you had to make this decision because it went too far or you were juggling too much and you have to now you know prioritize what is good for you what is good for your family and no longer deal with that situation you now align yourself the lovers with your own goals 
and you're asserting your own uh, talents, your own abilities, your own, you know, you're, you're asserting who you are. Right? The lovers is about aligning yourself with what you believe in and with what you, you know, with your as your personal aspirations and your personal goals. You're not following anybody anymore. You're not working for someone else's idea. You're not, you are asserting yourself, your own goals, what you want to do in your career, in your profession. And this new change, this change and this new decision you're baking is to uh, go on your own path or, you know, put out your own, um, follow your own passion, follow your own thing, right? The lovers is about you, all about you and doing, you know, what you really believe is your goal in life right now. And that's the big change. That's the big turnaround. It's a whole new ball game, Gemini in this month of January. But I believe this has been happening already where you have discovered that something was fishy there and you did, you had to make a decision. So um, you might be partnering up two of cups, doesn't have to be, but the two of cups sometimes is partnering up with someone else, right? Uh, a new business, a new partnership, a new, uh, a new idea, a new project, take it as it resonates in your journey and something that really, really uh, makes you happy. It is successful because you have the sun, right? The sun is about success, but it's also about finding that, that joy and that happiness again in, in um, a project that really, really um, uh, corresponds to you, corresponds to your personality, something you have been wanting to put out there for a while. And a lot of these readings have these major arcana and bold decisions on, in huge transformations and huge changes. And these have been going on since I want to say the month of September for all signs. You know, as everyone woke up, now we're in a sore situation again as the world is dealing with you know this you know our usual situation that is difficult for everyone difficult to adapt difficult to stop and go stop and go figuring things out along the way uh but this turbulence that we've had to live around the world and my heart goes out to everyone in the four corners of the world as we are all dealing with this um these this turbulence and these moments of reflection that we've had for the last two years, all of us have pushed us to assert ourselves, pushed us to be bold, pushed us to uh, take a step back and understand what we're made of and understand what we can personally put out there. Not to be followers, but to be givers, to be... Um, uh, assertive and and push push who we are push our talents and believe in our talent and believe in ourselves and here we are Gemini a complete transformation here in the month of January um let's pull some cards some more cards to see exactly what's going on but you are opening up two of swords two of swords is making that decision right it is um, but it's, it's, it's an important and challenging decision. Two of Pentacles, Justice, Two of Swords, right? It's a bold professional decision, but it's also opening up to the world, opening up to new and seeing what is out there and understanding that you can do some of uh, something else, right? Put yourself out there, see different, uh, uh, connect with new people, network with new people, believe in yourself in different ways and believe that you can put whatever you want out there. Believe in yourself, Gemini. It's time. It's the moment because January is, January is pushing you to, to do something else, clearly. But it, it looks like there is something else really, really good right behind this. So good for you, Gemini. I always say, and, and a lot of card readers do say that, and I know it's very frustrating when people say that because people have said that to me in times where, uh, you know, it wasn't great. And, and it's like, 
it's good that these moments, these sudden changes and uh, these moments in time where we have to uh, shift and we have to make decisions, we have to change because sudden things happen and just push us on a different path. And while it happens, it's difficult, right? These are difficult decisions to make and difficult energies to navigate along the way and we have to adapt and we have to take a step back and understand what it's all about and make the proper decisions according to our lives our journeys our families right and it's not always easy it's not always easy but these situations push us towards our better selves push us towards our next chapter, our next journey, right? And if we didn't have these situations, we might sort of be in a lull, right? Where we wouldn't get to experience beautiful things, where we wouldn't get to experience that thing that we never even thought we would do, or that person we never even thought we would meet, or, you know, that would open up doors for us, or, or, or just push us towards another adventure, another journey that we thought, you know, we never even knew it existed. So because of these sudden changes, we get to experience things that are so much more bolder and so much more maybe creative and, and that belong little by little, uh, pushing this journey closer to our hearts, closer to what we believe in and, and, and how, what we want in life, in our professional life, right? And, and, and this pushes us closer to who we are, finding a, a project that's closer to who we are. Uh, partnering up in a business, in a, an idea we've always on a, wanted to put out there, or, you know, finally opening up our shop, or finally uh, going back to school and getting our diploma. Finally, 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 right? These are energies pushing us to our core to our, assert ourselves and align ourselves with what we really want in our career. Sorry for the speech. All right. Let's see what cards come out. Yes, there we go. In your power. And that just flipped out. In your power. In your power. Now, this can be someone you've been dealing with that's an Aries. Doesn't have to be. And I usually don't cite... Um, I usually don't cite... Uh, um, uh, astrological signs, especially in uh, money and career readings. I find them irrelevant but here i don't know why i guess yes um the emperor so the emperor can be someone very powerful a father figure a mentor or a boss a manager someone that you have been dealing with that is very powerful a leader a decision maker someone um very powerful within your career, your profession, take it as it resonates, right? And so if this is not someone that you were dealing with, within this situation where you have to make a decision, uh, this is you asserting yourself, right, in your power, because you know what you want now, you know how you're pushing forward, you know how to express what you want, you have a clear vision, and you you want the final say and you will not hesitate to use your power to protect you and the ones you love and claim leadership claim leadership to push forward um in in this new journey so take it as it resonates the emperor is very powerful You're carefully strategizing, Gemini. If it's chaotic, which it seems a little chaotic in the beginning and not to worry, you are asserting yourself and making your decisions and adapting and pushing forward into something so much positive, so positive, right? But along the way, you are, you know, strategizing within chaos and make yes you've worked a lot hmm all right so this is some you you spent a lot of time a lot of you might have put money in this or this is your new uh let, let's pull another card 
or this is your new business, your new project, because you do have a new project here right behind, Gemini. Something you've been word working on. Let's see if there's another, let's see if there are more cards coming out. Yes, yes, there we go. Yes, absolutely. Here we have the Two of Cups again. Partnering up with someone. New business, new business, new project. You know, this is something uh, that you're pushing forward, that you've worked on. You, you might have um, invested money in this. You certainly invested time in this, and you're partnering up with someone on a new business, a new idea. Yes. Gemini. I like this. Here you are, Gemini. Page of Swords. New idea. Learning new skills. Opening up to new, right? Thinking differently. The page is eager to learn. It's, his, it, it's energy and enthusiasm and creativity in a new project that you're partnering up. You might be partnering up with this, uh, this emperor. That's possible. If this is not you, and if this is not a person that you had to deal with in the past or within this conflict, conflictual situation, you are partnering up with this person working very hard that might have invested money or you would have invested money in this new project here, thinking differently. But that's exciting, Gemini. Yes, exciting and creative. You have the King of Cups and the, the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is about moving forward, uh, moving forward in a creative project, right? Um, it's, it's, you, it's very inspired. You're very inspired and very enthusiastic in moving forward in this creative project. Cups are all about creation emotions might be creative right it can be anything i like this gemini i like that you're moving forward after this turmoil right and it's i don't think it's turmoil it's just something you discovered or you realized that you you had to move it was time to make that decision to go on that new path Sometimes it's just time to transform and to start that business, right? You might have worked on it for a while. Yep, you're making things official. The Hierophant, you're conforming to certain rules. You might be going back to school to learn new skills for this, but you're certainly adapting and conforming and structuring and making something official whatever it is yes and it's something that makes you happy that brings harmony back in your family stability happiness you have the sun you have the ten of cups and you have two times the two of cups which is really, um, the Two of Cups is partnering up, but it's also finding someone that we truly connect with on, in a, on a business scale, right? We truly connect with, you have the same point of view, you're laser focused on that, on the same project, you think the same way, you, you, you know, that's why we partner up with people when we have that same idea and, 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 you know, no, yes, look at this. Wow, wow. Ace of Cups, Gemini. Ace of Cups, just pure joy. Pure joy in this new job, in this new project, in this new activity. Take it as it resonates for you. But it's fully and authentically expressing yourself, expressing your creativity within this partnership, this new enterprise, this new project you know take it as it resonates it's really really good gemini it's really good this situation the turmoil situation is pushing you into the sun and the wow ace of cups it's really for the good that you're pushing forward on something different wow well okay apparently i want one more card on this uh on this Ace of Cups. 
I don't know why I wanted to leave it at that because I oh okay celebrating so you might be doing this with friends it's possible you might be doing this with friends you might be doing so this with your partner right uh, a relationship that you know your your husband your wife or your partner it, it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be you but it is possible because you have the lovers and two times the two of cups and the uh, the ace of cups but it you know it's it's especially something um bringing in happiness bringing in joy around you to you to your friends to your family to have start to start this business it might be a family business or it might just be something that you really have wanted to do for a while and spend a lot of time and a lot of money uh, uh strategizing and and pulling this together and you know because you're making it official so you might have have to hire people of contracts pulling a team together uh business plans uh getting loans at the bank you know finding a space uh uh you know uh yada you name it this is you know pulling together an enterprise and and this is something that's really really um interesting gemini and it, it's making you happy and it's bringing back after chaos it's bringing uh uh, stability and calm and really serenity and and pure joy in this new uh in this new project good for you gemini yes there you go teamwork three three of uh, pentacles yeah so you're not alone in this uh new enterprise you have people surrounding you you're collaborating you have a team with you uh there's there's a lot going on here pushing this forward and making this happen I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did, Gemini. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your uh, likes, sharing your journeys, all your comments. I read all your comments along the way. Uh, they push me forward for uh, more readings. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. That's very important. Uh, if you enjoy this reading and never uh, watched any of my readings before, uh, you might be interested in yearly month by month readings for 2022. I will post all those up or mid-December as well as uh, yearly 2022. Uh, if they're up for Gemini, I believe so. If not, they will be coming soon. Thank you so much for watching. Again, Happy New Year to all. Take care. Bye-bye.